Welcome back to your Algebra 1 Semester 1 Final Exam Review. Uh, we're working Problem 29, which is talking about a cell phone company. Uh, and it's a fairly realistic question. Uh, even if you ever go with your family to buy a cell phone, there's usually a cost for the phone, and then there's actually a cost for the data as well, right, how much your family uses. Um, but the problem itself isn't too terrible. So let's take a look. We charge a monthly fee for a single phone line and then $15 for every gigabyte of data used per month. So if we're looking here then, every month, in a month, let's see what happens. We do $45 per phone, and we also do $15 per gigabyte of data. So that says write the function that models the monthly cost of the cell phone line. So I think we're only going to do the $45 because there's just a single phone here. So we have this $45 here. But then the thing that could change is how much data you use. right? We're going to use $15 for every gigabyte. So for example, if we just used one gigabyte, we'd only have to add on $15. But if I use two gigabytes, that would be two times fifteen dollars because we used obviously double if we did three gigabytes it'd be three times fifteen and so on and so forth so the thing that's changing the thing that's varying is this number right here and that depends on how many gigabytes you use so i think we would call this x because in a month that x could be three or seven or maybe you stream netflix all month on your cell signal and you end up with you know a hundred deer which would be terrible um, and then when we do all that math our answer is going to be the total cost and it looks like in our equations here they used f of x to be the total cost. So f of x is going to be that $45 plus $15 times each gigabyte, and that matches 